everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Hexit and Not the Nether. Yes, so after I finished playing, or after I finished recording, you know, I, I read your comments and someone's like, um, you do realize that you killed a zombie with that gem in your hand, and now it's collecting zombies, and I was like, no, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, so I messed that up, and uh, while I... <laughs> <laughs> I did some reading on uh, on the things that we're doing here because these are pretty advanced things and I came across a couple of things so uh, I, I got rid of the enchanting room in the cave um, well it's empty now you guys see that and I grabbed all my books and bookshelves and stuff and I ah uh, skeleton I figured we should put this on the second floor of the house I mean uh, we'll put the like the enchantment table well we'll put it here for now and then uh, I wanted to build bookcases uh, one of the cool things about uh, Hexit, and uh, I think this is Bibliocraft, is that we can make bookcases, and you can put books in them, and you can get the enchanting table level to like a hundred something. So uh, let's put these together so it's just those and those. So I've got some spruce wood here that we can just turn into that, and we'll just make a crafting table. I should have really just grabbed one from wherever, but uh, that was just not intelligent at all. Can I have that back? Thank you. Um, so we'll just put that over here. And uh, let's see, so it was, um, we need some planks. Let's do that. And then what was it like? Th this, I think it was. And then this, and we'll just grab a few more here and we'll split it there. And then we'll just split these up like that. Is that, oh yeah, that works, okay. So let's see, we've got uh, four bookcases. I thought that would make a lot more. <laughs> Uh, well, let's, let's start with those. Let's see how these look. Um, because we're going to have to design this. I, I do want this indoors. Um, this, uh, the, uh, oh, okay. So the, I want the enchanting table indoors. And so then what do you, so I guess, I'm guessing you just, okay. I got emerald shards now. Um, I'm guessing what we do is we just stick the books in. Let's check this out. Let's see if how this works. Um, but I think, yeah. So look at that. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> I think if we go like that, that's how we want it. And it should give, so max 14. And then we do this again, like so. Oops. Ugh. And yeah, you don't want to put 64 in one slot because I think that you don't get the full value for it. Uh, maybe. So wait, let's see if that's true. So 18. And then what happens if I just put them all in there? Let's see, eight, do we get uh 18.25 yeah no <laughs> that's the wrong way to do it because then if you do it like this what do we get 20 okay cool so we'll go ahead and fill this a little bit more and i think this is a better way of doing it the, from what i read the, i mean uh i think it takes the same number of books in the you know in the end to get a certain level of enchantment but um but then we can so we can take these and we can break them down so we'll just do, we need the books, we need the books, we need the books. Oh, and one of the other nice things is, um, you know, you're not stuck with oak. See, this this actually matches, which I, I think is kind of cool uh, that we have that option in Hexit um, to have matching bookshelves. Well, um, I think you can actually, you can take these bookshelves and make them out of spruce also in Hexit, but I'd rather take these. I like this. It's a really, really different look. It's 3D. Uh, you see how the books sort of sit in and some of them sit inside there. And I, I don't know. I like it. Uh, let's make let's make a little bit more than we did the last time there. So let's see if we can split this a little better and at least get, yeah, that at least get that many. Well, I don't know if we're even going to get that many, but um, wait, how is that even possible? I, I swear that I made more. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just not really counting very well today so um now i want to I, I i think to get to the max level we're gonna have to build it up higher um but for now i think we can do it like this and we'll just build the lower level of these i think i wonder okay well whatever um and then uh and, and the other thing i'm gonna have to go collect some books i think or make some i don't know which but I'd rather just collect them. Uh, we can find easily some dungeon that's full of bookshelves, and we can just go to town on them. Okay, we're up to 34. 
Um, okay, and we should be able to make, let's see, so this one, and I wanna see if that one in the corner um, actually counts. So 38, let's see if this makes any difference, because if it doesn't, we can move the other one. So let's see, so it's 36, and now we're at 42. Um, that might be enough. I'm gonna, yeah, one thing I don't like is how these don't join together. We're gonna have to figure that out. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do a mixture of these shelves and the regular shelves, um, but we can get a really high level of enchantment um, out of these as you put more things. I think I, I thought it was a hundred something, but we, I think 42 might be enough. I mean, I've only got 39 levels anyway. So, um, well, well, we'll make another soul shard, but the reason we're actually here is to enchant a book. And what I wanted to do is um, I was looking at trying to figure out how we do this decapitation thing. I was looking at like this blood, um, blood altar and a soul altar and all this stuff. And when I really looked into it, <laughs> I, I, I I sort of was like, wait, it said something about an anvil. And I started looking and all you really need to do is take a book and enchant that with decapitate. There it is. Oh, I saw it. Where was it? Come on, come on, come on. There it is right there. So we can go decapitate. And supposedly every level... Ooh, okay, we got enough. Um, supposedly every level that you enchant with... Oh, can we enchant multiple? Because I would like to do an unbreaking on there as well. Not persistence. Why is it stuck? Oh my gosh, it's stuck. All right, hold on a second. Um, but uh, yeah, I would like to get an unbreaking enchantment. And the reason I want the unbreaking is... Um, why is it stick? What is going on here? That is frustrating. Okay, it didn't stick this time. Okay, so turn off afterlife. I don't even know what that is. Can we wait? Wait. What? Why is it lighting up afterlife? This could be bad. Uh. All right. Well, wait. So if I, not enough bookcases required. Fifty-five. This, oh, maybe. Oh, you know what? I think it doesn't let you do afterlife. If you're doing decapitate, it like it, it tells you no afterlife. Okay. So we got thirty-three. Let's go to sharpness, wherever that is. I don't want knockback. Definitely. Um, can we? Uh, wait. So we got sharpness one, sharpness two, sharpness three, sharpness three. There and and did it did it kill my decapitate? Oh, decapitate one, decapitate two. No, we want decapitate three. And and the reason. Okay, so we can't. Okay, that's fine. Maybe we can do sharpness two and decapitate one, decapitate three. Do we do we want sharpness? No, no. We want we want unbreaking. Uh because wither skeletons are not that hard, so we don't need it that much. Um so let's do that. And where is unbreaking? Unbreaking. Here we go. Can we can we do unbreaking two? Can we do unbreaking two? Yes, we can. So we got no. We want decapitate three. Okay. Ah. Jeez. Okay, but we'll get this, guys, I promise. Um This thing is a mess. Let's ah. Uh, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Try this one more time. How about we'll do this? We'll just go, we'll go to un un unbreaking one first. Unbreaking one. There we go. Nice. And we got to decapitate and then we're not going to move it. So, oh, but we're going to need, well, okay. Oh, you know what? All right. Let's just, oh, not enough for 40. Okay. All right. We, ah, okay. Wait, we've got these. Let's use these. <laughs> Oh, come on, really? Are you kidding me? 11 of those and it got me, ah, uh, forget it. We're just gonna do decapitate only then. <laughs> so sorry guys to be wasting your time here, but um, this will be worth it because uh, I got to thinking about it and uh, from what I, re what I have read, okay, so here we go, decapitate three. Yes, here we go. And, uh, and oh man, I feel really stupid for wasting those levels because I could use them now if I need it uh, and we need an anvil, which I brought with me. Um, and we'll just put it right next to this and hopefully it won't take too many levels to combine them. Let's see. Um, what am I looking for? The book here, the book. Oh, M G. And what a waste of those. Uh, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Okay. Hold on a second. We can, we can steal some levels. We don't need efficiency on the ax, um, because we're going to be using it as a weapon. So we can take that off. Can we, can we take that off? No? Wait, but I I didn't I enchanted this thing, didn't I? Come on. Okay. Oh, you know what we should do? I should get an axe. Um I think that oh, why am I stuck here? Um I think that living metal repair 
repairs itself. Is that is that true? Let's see. Um, do we have a living metal axe? I'm pretty sure we've got some living metal stuff somewhere. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, we've got a, I could make just a new diamond axe, which I may end up doing. All right, let me look through my chest. I'll be right back, guys. Woohoo! I got it. And, uh, I went to that ex, well, the, uh, the skeleton farm over there for a little while while it was dark. Then I came back and, uh, never underestimate some redstone, some, uh, lapis, and nether quartz. Uh, apparently I'd collected a lot of it with this axe right here, the, uh, the silk touch one. So I had it in chests. So I just used it and I found this in one of my chests. Um, an efficiency three, unbreaking three already on it with decapitate. And I checked, it should take 24 levels to put decapitate. Yes! Efficiency three, unbreaking three, decapitate three. And supposedly living metal will charge up its um, durability because it only has the durability of an iron ax. But it'll charge it up while you're collecting souls, which we'll be doing. Um, so let's go down here and we'll get ourselves another soul shard. Do I? No, I do not have a diamond. Uh, let's go grab a diamond and we'll put this one away. We're not going to want this one. And what I think I'm going... Come on, get down there. What I think I'm going to do is, uh, I think, I don't know, but I'm thinking what I'll do. Uh, is there anything else we want to get rid of here? No, I'm going to need, well, you know, we only need that. And then one, two, three, four is, it? ah, I'll keep that. And where's the end stone? Got it. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I don't really want this. And oh, we don't need a chuckle feather. Either. Okay. So let's go up here. Come on. But, there we go. Got it. Okay. Um, so we'll try this little thingy again here. I think we've got, um, let's get some space. Get out of here, please. Thank you. Okay. So, um, so what I want to do is put it away in a, this is actually not the best idea because there's zombies everywhere. And, uh, the second, all right, are we, are we done here guys? The second I, uh, you two get out of here. Um, all right. The second I craft that thing, they're going to come after me and then I'm going to lose this, have this problem again. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do is going to put it away as soon as I'm done with it. So here we go again, guys. So we've got the netherrack. We've got the end stone. Let's see if I can remember this. It's like this. And then we put, that's not it. Um, we put that and that, how did I get a potato? Where, oh, the zombie must have dropped it. Okay. Uh-huh, and here, and then we put it all the way around the outside, right? Like that, and like that. Yeah, this is it. I remember. Our little end stone generator here. And then we toss a diamond on top, or right-click it, right? Isn't that right-click with a diamond? Boo -boo! We go. Okay, so now I want to put this away right now. I don't want it in my inventory because there's no way that I... Okay, so we'll put it in the magenta one. There's no way I'm getting all the way to the nether. There we go. It's in the magenta one. It's the only one in there. Let's get that into the bag. Okay. So let's hope that just carrying that in my inventory doesn't, I guess, activate it because I really, really need a wither skeleton first to activate it. Then we can fill it up with wither skeletons. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be collecting some other soul and we won't be able to make the right soul cage um, spawner thing. Oh, there was... Oh, man. I should have gotten... Oh, well. Anyway, I got enough. Uh, okay. So... Um, now, <laughs> now let's, let's try and get to the nether and get this thing activated. Uh, eh, is this, a, is this a, a random chest? Oh, it's an empty chest. Okay. We're gonna get rid of that. 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 Okay. So this is all stuff we don't really need with us. Well, uh, we'll take a full stack then that'll work. And okay. Oh, uh, I don't have enough levels. Um, cause I, you know what I wanted to try guys? I wanted to, I noticed that you can, uh, using an anvil, you can enchant this with further sharpness. I already have sharpness, but if you use an anvil in a book, ugh, you can, uh, you can enchant it further. Um, which makes me wish that I had picked up the books in the uh, Minotaur's Labyrinth, but I didn't. So too bad, uh, because I could have gotten sharpness for free and then we could have double sharpness on the rapier and I think it would be better than my ender sword so we'll figure that out in another episode but oh man look at this creeper central look at that there's four of them Ooh. 
I love one hit, one hitting them with, uh, or one shotting them with this. Will you stop it? Okay, uh, <laughs> yep, one shot, boom! This is Creeper Central, seriously. Uh, okay, so, you know what I'll do is I, come on, load the terrain, please. I, ugh, I don't want to be in the water. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get to the nether fortress. I was almost, well, I actually, I wasn't very far at all, but, uh, I didn't get any further than you saw at the end of the last episode. I turned around and went back as soon as I realized that I had lost, or, well, uh, that I had activated my soul shard on the wrong mob accidentally. But, uh, once I get over to that nether fortress, um, and, uh, we find our first wither skeleton, I'll be back so you guys can see that thing activated. And then I'll grind it out off camera and all that stuff. So, okay. Be right back. Uh, okay. Do this quick, man. Come on. Get the, get, get the thing. Get the thing. Get the thing. Get the thing. It, is it in here? Okay. Wait. Is he coming for me? I don't think he sees me. Okay. Cool. So, we'll get the soul shard here. No, no. Pick up. Okay. It's empty anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay. And it has to be in my inventory here. And here we go with the living metal axe. Now, we should have about... Well, okay. According to what I read. Before we do this... Hi guys. Oh yeah, I put this armor on because I'm worried about falling into lava. Um, and this has, you know, the fire resistance and stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, this decapitation three, supposedly each level adds 33%. And since we have decapitation three, we should have a 100% chance of getting wither skeleton skulls. Okay, here we go, here we go. Boom, die. And yeah, look at that, 100% chance of getting one. So we're gonna be, and yes. Okay, good. So we're collecting the right thing. I don't think it has to stay in our hotbar uh, for us to continue collecting. But now I don't have to worry. Uh, well, it worked fine in my backpack, thankfully. Um, I can't really see much here. I thought that this... Well... Um, should I... Should I... No, I like the strength. I like having the strength, though, uh, for these guys here. Uh, just because... But I can't really... Hmm. Oh, but I don't want to light it up either. Oh, geez. Okay. Get out of here and... You know what? We don't really need strength because we've got we've got some pretty powerful tools here. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Although... Oh, no. Wow. That was almost really bad. I almost shot a big man. I, I did that before, too. I don't know if you guys noticed in my inventory, but I, I do have... I think I, I think I picked up a golden sword because I killed one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, him and a few of his friends, and in, in, uh, to be honest, but uh, okay. So let's let's yeah. You know what? I, I, this is you know it's sort of a it's sort of a, a you know like a uh, what do you call it? Catch twenty two. It's like you want to be safe with the fire part because I tend to jump off of things. Um, but then, you know, you also want to be able to see because we're going to be in, or I'm going to be in here a while. You guys won't be, but I'm going to be in here a while. And I, ah, oh, now that, oh man, I forgot how bright this was. That's a lot better. Uh, let's put this in here and, um, oh man, there's all this junk, but, uh, let, I want to, I want to, I want to make sure that. I want to see that it really is a 100% chance. We're going to have so many Wither Skeleton Skulls uh, if this really is a 100% chance. And that is, I mean, that is what I read. I'll go grab that XP there. Um, oh, you know what? Do, oh, was that one? I thought I, no. You know, I don't, we don't need this. Let's get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, geez. Oh, I did not know that you could do, that they could, we could have, um, wow. Yeah, not cool. Uh, Oh geez, infernal blaze. But I wonder what he'll drop. I kind of want to get him over here so I can. Okay, what did he drop? <gasps> uh, just a diamond sword. Lame. Uh, but he made me hungry. Yay. Okay. So uh, I want to decapitate one more guy just to see. Oh, and suppose that, let's see. So how can I tell? Nah. I was gonna say maybe I can tell if the if the because uh, it would be such a shame if this thing broke during our thing. I actually I won't let it happen. But I want it to be healing while I'm doing this. Oh, this helps too. I didn't even think about the uh, what I the the benefit of being able to run quickly uh, to find more of these uh, wither skeletons. Oh, like that. See that? Whoa. Um, come here. All right. Let's see if we can get his skull here. No, no. Get get. Yeah. Okay. All right. And oh, it did it not? Oh no, it did. Okay. Woo! All right. Yeah. So that's two for two. Um, 
man, I can't wait to fight all these withers at once. This is going to be pretty intense, guys, when, we, when we're fighting, like, multiple withers here. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, like I said, you, you guys do not want to... Oh, d does this thing tell me? Oh, killed one. Okay, so the first one doesn't count. Um, and I forgot how far I have to go to get to the first tier. It's like, it's like a stack at least, um, of them. Oh, geez. Why? Who put that down? Surely wasn't me. Um, did, did the blaze put that down? That was weird. Jeez, come on. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I do have to kill a lot of, it may be two stacks worth. I think it may be a, okay, 128, um, uh, of them to be able to make this first level spawner. Um, and then you could, you could actually, you can actually upgrade it and make better ones, but I don't think I'm going to see that many of them, man. This is making me want to, okay, good. I was going to, huh? There's another spider web there. Uh, yeah, but it does make me want to wear some, some better armor, some fire resistance armor. Come on, buddy. Come give me your skull. Hiya. Hiya. I chop your head. I chop your head. Woo. Oh, wait a minute. He didn't drop it, did he? Oh. Well, I guess... Well, I mean, if you think about it, 99% chance there is a 1% chance you won't get it, I guess. I mean, that is kind of true. Uh, so, yep. Come here, buddy. I don't want your regular skeleton, buddy. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to fight these guys. I'm going to grind it out. Um, and over the next, well, who knows how long it's going to take. A uh, few hours, I would think. Okay. Oh man, we were just lucky on those two, but still, even even still, if it's even if it's like a fifty percent chance of getting it, or even a thirty percent chance of getting it, it is. I just walked right into the fireball. Uh, it is way better than what we normally would get uh, with the wither skeleton skulls. I mean, the uh, the drop chance on those things is like three percent with regular looting. So this is a huge help that they'll drop that skull. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, guys, I am going to let you go, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode with a fully charged Wither Skeleton Soul Charge. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, noodle on!